at the glory there. That is some beautiful coffee. Well, the coffee's flowing and it's time to get going. Hey, welcome back to Questions Over Coffee. My name's Kevin Smith. It's good to see you again. Want a cup of coffee? Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything that's coming up on Questions Over Coffee. If you have a comment or a question, leave in the section below. We'll get to it just as fast as we can. Today's question is, what does Jesus mean when he says in Luke 16, 16, that everyone is forcing their way into it, it being the kingdom uh, of God? This is one of those passages that is quite difficult to understand. Um, the grammar around it does not actually help too terrible much, um, but it does give a few options. Um, so today, what I want to do is give you uh, a few of those options. And, um, you know, the ultimate answer is... Only the good Lord himself knows exactly what he was saying there and what exactly it means. Here is what Luke 16, 16 says. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Since that time, the gospel of the kingdom of God has been preached and everyone is forcing his way into it. This particular verse revolves around the word biazzo. Uh, Generally, Biazzo is translated four different ways. Let me go ahead and give you the ways, and then we'll uh, make some observations on those. The first one is to inflict violence on, to dominate, to constrain. Okay. The second definition that's often given is to gain an objective by force, to uh, use force, basically. Number three is... To go after something with massive enthusiasm, uh, fervently wanting something, okay? Uh, trying real hard, okay? And then the fourth one is to invite, to constrain warmly. To, we might even say to invite urgently because of the importance of something that's going on. What you have in many versions is this particular verse having the phrase the kingdom suffers violence okay now and that is a legitimate um, way to translate that because what you see is persecutions that were happening during the time of jesus where the pharisees are persecuting him uh, in some way he's persecuting uh the prophets still i mean john the baptist had his head cut off by king Herod, the uh, crucifixion, and then after the ascension of Jesus, what you have also is the kingdom suffering violence in the sense that the apostles were dragged in front of the Sanhedrin uh, a couple of different times. Uh, you've got Paul suffering in a shipwreck because he's on his way to Rome because of his faith. You've got Paul um, in the middle of a riot in Ephesus, thing, things like that, where persecutions were happening to God's people. Uh, so that is a very viable possibility, okay? Uh, you've got the invite urgently because the message of the gospel is so very, very important. And we want anybody and everybody to hear that message so that they can be saved. It's a very urgent message, but it's not uh, one of those that you've got to do this right now. But instead, it's a warm invitation. I have a Savior that you need to meet. One of the things you've also got is unauthorized people that are compelling the kingdom to come. Now, what we mean by this is that Jesus warns them that there are going to be many false Christs that are going to rise uh, and claim to be him. They're going to claim to be the Messiah, 
And he tells them, do not go after him. These people are not the Christ. So that is also a very viable position to take on, on this particular word. Um, but the last one is that the kingdom makes its way with a triumphant force. We know that the church will not be beaten. We know that the kingdom of God will be victorious, both now and in the end. I mean, Jesus even tells Peter when he's given Peter the keys of the kingdom in Matthew 16, 18. I also say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. Even Hades itself will not overpower the kingdom of God. So, which of the four definitions is Jesus meaning when he says what he says in Luke 16, 16, that people are forcing their way in? There's no definite answer that I can give you. But those are the four options that are available. So I have a question for you. What do you do to decide what a passage means when there could be more than one definition for a particular word or a particular phrase? Uh, how do you decide this is the one that is meant in this passage? Leave me a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss anything that's coming up on Questions Over Coffee. Thank you for our time together today. I look forward to the next time. Keep pressing forward.